Brainstorming is a special type of discussion that can be very useful during lectures and small group discussions. During this short video, we will go through the steps necessary to run an effective brainstorming session. Before starting, set a time limit and consider the main learning points for the session. Introduce the topic or question and ask for ideas from the entire group. This session is on why should we treat pain? Why is, why is it important to treat pain? Encourage participants to contribute and ask a scribe to write all ideas on a board or paper. Can someone come in? Not sister, we won't get sister. Ah, doctor will do it. Acknowledge ideas positively. There are no wrong ideas. Avoid discussing individual ideas during this part of the brainstorming. Any other reasons why? Yeah. When enough ideas have been written down, ask the group to discuss. What areas are most important? Are there areas of agreement or disagreement? Oh yeah, that's interesting. Decide what is important. As an instructor, you will need to highlight main learning points from the discussion. So we go through the benefits for treating pain. For the patient, you consider their physical uh, benefits as well as psychological benefits. Huh? Physically, you, when they get their pain treated, they have better sleep, okay? Better appetite, they can eat better. All right, and they have fewer medical complications. You know, you've named most of them already. As with any teaching session, end with an opportunity for questions and a short summary. So in summary, brainstorming can be a very useful technique during lectures and small group discussions. It's important to in introduce the topic first and then to use a scribe to write down ideas from the entire group. After the ideas have been written down, the group should then discuss the ideas and decide on the most important learning points.